I don't think any of us would have expected to be in this situation with this COVID-19 pandemic, the way it's affected our world, our state, and our community. But true to our form, our folks have been very responsive and concerned and resilient in the manner in which we've dealt with this inconvenience, uh, which is really more than that. It's a very serious threat to our community. But by taking it seriously, we may have stemmed the tide we may have had an impact in how this contagion might have spread in our community because people are social distancing, people are maintaining uh, an avoidance of groups, and a lot of folks are actually limiting their getting out of doors. They're taking the shelter in place, the safer at home recommendations very seriously, and I thank you for that. It's very important that we continue to do so. Right now, we're at the apex. We're at the uh, critical crisis point of hopefully this pandemic has reached its peak and will start to tail off. But that does not mean that we can change or stop doing the observations that we've been doing as far as uh, limiting our activity, limiting our interaction. It is hard. And after a few weeks of this, nobody likes it. None of us do. Um, but it, it may give us an opportunity now to get on a glide path out of this in the next few weeks or months where we can get back to some sort, sort of normalcy and get our economy going again. That is going to be key. Um, we're naturally, naturally sociable people, and we have a need to interact and get out. So um, what we need to make sure we do as a community is set a good example. Um, enjoy the outdoors where we can. Uh, and enjoy each other at a distance so we can get better sooner and get back on our feet. Making adjustments to our personal habits is difficult in any situation, but it's particularly challenging in dealing with this coronavirus. The good news is because we've responded as a community, coastal mayors have made an appeal to Governor Reeves to reopen the beaches, and he is doing just that so we can get out and enjoy what God gave us and recreate and get some fresh air and be with those that we love just at safe distances. I want to thank you all for the things that you're doing, but make sure that just because we're at the point where we should be seeing some sort of path out, we cannot relax. We need to, we need to be vigilant and make sure that we're protecting ourselves and our community and not spreading this disease or exposing ourselves to it. So let's keep it up. Um, pray for the economy. Shop local where you can. Do the good to go. You know, support our restaurants. And let, let's try to make sure that we do all we can to get our local economy and our people back on their feet sooner than later. So thanks for checking in. Thanks for giving us some input. Your input has helped us make better decisions and that changes day to day. So we're trying to adapt as well to make sure that we can continue to enjoy this wonderful place we call home. Thanks.